friends and family how are you doing today god loves you jesus loves you jesus is lord and i love you i thank and praise god for this wonderful opportunity to share god's word with you even today our god is a good god in the book of genesis chapter 12 verse 1 through 3 god says like this now the lord had said unto abram get thee out of the country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that i will show you and i will make thee a great nation i will bless thee i will make thy name great and thou shall be a blessing i will bless them that bless thee and curse him that curse thee and in thee shall all the families of the earth shall be blessed you see here god was speaking to abraham saying that just trust me and do what i say so that you too you will be blessed like this he talks about seven great house of wonderful blessings he says that i will make thee a great nation i will bless thee make thy name great thou shall be a blessing i will bless them that bless thee and curse him that curse thee and in thee shall all the families of the earth shall be blessed seven wonderful blessings god gave and god kept his word even today around the world people talk about abraham abraham had a wonderful life when he began he was abraham and god asked him to listen to him believe him obey him and he did and god blessed him and the sixth blessing is a wonderful blessing and it is a protective class in itself it says that i will curse him that curse thee you got it and i will bless them that bless thee that's the fifth one and the sixth one is i'll curse him that curse thee you got it when i read this i was kind of jealous <laughs> i was thinking to myself how wonderful this would be had i got a blessing like this from god you see and the time came god showed me i too you too can be like abraham that's a wonderful thing that's a wonderful thing in galatians chapter 3 verse 14 and 15 god says like this christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us for it is written cursed is every one that hangs on a tree christ hung on a cross that the blessing of abraham might come on the gentiles you see we we are gentiles that the blessing of abraham might come on the gentiles through jesus christ that we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith you got it so god has connected us with the blessing of abraham and the promises of abraham you got it so wonderful thing when i <laughs> read this thing in galatians chapter 3 verse 14 and 15 the whole chapter talks wonderful things and it connects us to abraham brother sister friends and family blessings and curses they pass from generation to generation it's never ending never ending so if we are connected to abraham we can enjoy the same blessings the same promises by simply believing god in genesis chapter 15 verse 6 says that 
Abraham believed in God and God counted it for righteousness. Simple. You know, working for God is very simple, just believing Him. When you believe God, automatically you will obey Him. When you obey Him, automatically blessings will follow you. Simple, simple, simple. And in Galatians chapter 3, verse 29, God makes it very clear. He says that if one is in Christ, he is the seed of Abraham and heirs according to the promise. You see, we are not just the seed of Abraham. We become heirs according to promise. You got it? See, the thing is, those wonderful blessings, seven blessings becomes us. I'll read, read that again for you. God said, I will make thee a great nation. Blessing number one. I will bless thee. Blessing two. I will make thy name great. Blessing three. Thou shalt be a blessing. Blessing four. I will bless them that bless thee. Blessing five. And I will curse him that curse thee. Six. In thee shall all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Blessing number seven. See, look at the sixth blessing. It's a very, very, very protective blessing. It says that if somebody curses you, don't get angry with them. Feel pity for them. You know why? God said, I will curse him that curse you. You got it? At the same time, God says that I will bless those who bless you. Simple. If somebody is blessing you, God will bless them. If somebody is cursing you, God will curse them. You got it? What a wonderful God we have. My brother, my sister, my friend, my family, very easily we can have all these blessings by simply being in Christ. That's the key. That's the key. That's the key. You need to be in Christ. How can you do that? By simply accepting Lord Jesus as your Savior too. That's what we read in Romans chapter 10 verse 9. It says that if you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead and confess the same with your mouth, you shall be saved. That is the first step. The second step is in Acts chapter 2 verse 38. It says repent and be baptized for the remission of your sins and you will receive the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will lead you into all the truth. You got it? First, we need to accept Jesus as our Savior, Lord and Savior. Second thing, we need to be baptized so that our sins will be forgiven. And we will receive the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will guide, in, guide us into all the truth. Then, you need to follow the Bible. You need to read the Bible. You need to believe the Bible and obey the Bible. That is a lifestyle. Until the end, you should be like that. When you do that, you too will be in Christ. Once you are in Christ, you are automatically connected to the blessings of Abraham, the promises of Abraham. You got it? My brother, my sister, my friend, it's so easy just to believe God. Just to believe God. That's it. God doesn't need anything from you. Just to believe Him. When you believe Him, He will make you just like Abraham. He will make you a great nation. He will bless you. He will make your name great. You will be a blessing. He will bless those who bless you. And He will curse those who curse you. And in you shall all the families of the earth shall be blessed. You got it. It's... A wonderful blessing, bundle of blessings, seven blessings are spoken over Abraham by God. And even today, God is keeping his word. God cannot change. God cannot lie. My brother, my sister, my friend, you too can be like this. Simply believing Jesus, accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior and trying to live a holy life according to the Bible. In the book of John, chapter 1, verse 12, God says like this, 
but as many as received him received jesus to them he who god to them god gave the power to become the sons of god even to them that believe on his name you see as many as received lord jesus god gave them the power to become the sons of god you see what a wonderful thing that would be to be the sons and daughters of the living god can you believe it's true my friend it is true it is true you too can be simple 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 by simply believing god and obeying god and in the book of romans chapter 8 verse 17 god says like this and if children and if we are children once you accept lord jesus you become his children and if you are children then heirs you see you become heir heirs heirs of god and joint heirs with christ if so be that he suffer with him that we may also glorify together you see god says that if we suffer with jesus for a while for a while in the sense you know life on earth is for a very short time very short time maybe 80 years 100 years 120 years that's a very short period when compared to eternity eternity is never ending this is just for a period that's it if you are ready willing to live for jesus during the short time on earth god promises us that we can reign with christ we will be co-heirs with christ we will be joint heirs with christ my brother my sister my friend god loves you god promises seven blessings for us if you just believe god if you just believe god if you believe god and obey god you will become the recipient of these seven blessings of abraham as well if you accept lord jesus as your personal savior and if you choose to live for him in no time you will be connected to the blessing of abraham my brother my sister my friend go for it god is god man is man god cannot lie wake up god loves you jesus loves you bible says that abraham just believed in god and god counted that for righteousness if you simply believe him that is what it takes to receive these blessings brother sister friends and family god loves you jesus loves you i love you until we meet again may god continue to be with you as well amen hallelujah